picking up unusual readings coming from this area, and our recon team has confirmed that Advent is now operating some sort of massive psionic transmitter nearby. Shen and Tigan agree, if we destroy the transmitter while it's still connected to Advent's network, their operations across this entire region could be crippled. Great. Hello, welcome back. Playing some of the Law of the Chosen. We've got a sabotage transmitter mission in tunnels under the city, so an underground map here. Um, yeah, and this is a mission to stop a retaliation from happening, because I don't want to fight a retaliation. At first, suggest destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Redford, when the cake's talking, the crumbs uh, take a break. Moving to designated position. Uh, get some some friends over there. Lost line asylum. So I'm not sure if the moves up here are safe. It's 14 enemies, with what the Jagger Chamber said. One of the biggest threats is going to be a military assault mech. Let's see yeah, how we want to do this. I'd like to get just on a side on these guys briefly to, to see what their detection ranges are. That's two of them. Somewhat confident that we can, that you know, just have to... <laughs> every time I look at her mobility and I, I get a chuckle. Um, it, it's so good, it's so good. All right, I'm on the move. We can sneak in here. There, that's what looked a little bit dodgy there. Um, right, now we no longer have direct line of sight to the first sergeant. Any chance we can get... Well, that's definitely in first sergeant territory. It's same with all of this back here. I was kind of wondering if we can get a trench gun position. Okay. Shows us the sergeant again. And yes, he has, yeah, his detection range is yes. It's gonna be possible, kid. On the move. I was just really wondering like, why you have such high detection ranges and why you are so so, so sneaky. Now, I guess we can just burn burn those guys. That's fine, and then just gonna Nearing do you range. forward scouting. Should engage fairly soon here because we need to of course destroy some uh, transmitters. Power nodes. And there's the military assault front. Oh. And get five tiles closer here. Yeah? That's not going to do it for me. And he's not going to be close enough. Let me burn that. Hmm.
That's the only one downside here with this squad setup that I chose. They don't really have the greatest openers in this squad. Not, also not sure if I actually need to have the best openers, so I kind of need to walk up to them and say, Hey, what's up? You're burning now. So, how do we want to do this? That's so wild. I can reach there, right? But if I want to set a waypoint here, then it's just the yeah, air, but then I'm... Waypoint there? I can only wake one more tile after that, not more. That's even worse. I don't, I don't get it. XCOM, why you gotta be so weird? Okay. Um, that might seem unintuitive, but we're gonna. Run you down here just to activate. I just wanna activate these guys. I have the mobility to burn them no matter where they go. And Jane Kelly's probably going to be able to get in range for a shotgun shot or two. That's all fine. So we're just going to do a drive-by activation. Right. That Hope they come nice. a little bit in my direction. Damn it. A little bit more of a split than I would have liked. I'm gonna attack this guy from here. Because we don't have the full on stun yet. Wait, more ghost bullets? What? We don't have the full on stun yet, right? Stun for one action, yeah, now we need. We need more than that. So we can just attack this guy and kill him. Probably... Um, Closing on target. A little bit risky play because shooting here now will put this group on yellow alert, but it is what it is. Come on! I won't go down without a fight! And since nobody sees me and this is full cover, that should conceal me again. I'm not sure how long I can maintain this. Oh, yeah. You want those guys? A little bit inconvenient. For you? How's that feel? On my way. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go for the suppression here. It's the safest way to disable him. Then you can just yeah run in, kill a note. Sorry, fly in, kill a note. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation oh, no. has been temporarily delayed. Oh no. 
What what are these power nodes made of? It's not setting me on fire, moving away from this. Or maybe I'm just immune to fire and don't remember it right. Heading out. I've never seen this before, what the hell? <laughs> That's some crazy, crazy talk. Um, right. You find something useful to do with your second action. Uh, you find a good place for you to go. We're not gonna get yellow alerted by these guys stomping in here, so I guess we're just gonna come over here. So press this, do that at the end to not uh, lose my natural hearing. I don't really think there's anything useful I can do here. I like my elevated position to have everybody of the squad in range. Would technically command for an overwatch here for the mech coming through. But if he moves first... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna suppress first. If the suppress panics the guy... And he's not gonna eat my overwatch. Yeah, alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh, I can't... I can't command somebody who was rescued. I, I just... Hello? How close is that to this guy? He has his shoot anybody in close range thing, right? That's within four tiles, or is it not within four tiles? So maybe we want to go just, just here? Yeah, let me also... I think this might be a little bit more of an active turn here. Busy turn. Sure thing. Burning Russia oh, activated. Oh. oh, I have line of sight to him, but I can't get my, my thing to point in his direction. That is um, highly unfortunate. What would it take to shut you down? Yeah, I thought so. Let's get it. Right, um, that's... Check what else is happening down now. Okay, that helps. Think. Uh. Let's just shut that thing down here. This bullet stuns him, and that should then 
Desktop is humming. I think it stopped. I don't know. I can't even tell anymore. Alright, so with him, him, him no longer being an Overwatch... Yeah, yeah, okay, got some advent here. Is it, is that three drones? We have nothing else to do, guys. Not like anywhere else to be or something. No? Okay. You could have grouped up a little bit nicer. Like, come on now. He's going to be stunned, for sure now. Have a... Is that a single move? Yeah, that's a single move. That's a single move that I have available. Slash over here. I guess we can... The lap shot... Hey, it's not a great shot here. Good also teamwork for another blue screen canister. I guess the big question is... How many drones can you see, and how many can you kill? Double time it. Drinks are on me. Come on, son of a! I won't go down without a fight. Yo. How much more quick feed bullshit can we do here? Uh, we could totally fade here. I'm not sure how long I can maintain this in motion. Walk here. Oh no, we got three fight. Then we're gonna land. So we get the better better hit chance. Kill this thing. He's gone. I'm out. Yep, yep. That's some loot over there. Weapons hot. Yeah. I think that makes it easier on what to do with with Jane Kelly here. Yeah? So I actually want to run this way and potentially reveal something over there. Let's stay over on that side and uh, pick up the loot next turn. Maybe grab a grab a power node or two. More postage. And you just stay there. And we should also totally 
consider getting an evac ops. I'm losing control of the situation! This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. I hope you're right. Not triggering anyone else? Cool. How's that feel? Next time for you to finally move from that position. How much do I want to sit on my focus? I could just use a ghost bullet here to get me some more time. Which I think I'm actually gonna use. Uh, main reason being uh, ammo here is kind of rare. You I'm not even sure you can destroy these things with the emulator. Give it a good old college try here. Yeah, nah. So I'm not like I know that I get concealment if I move over there. I'm just not sure if the concealment is effective from that spot only. And if an enemy spots me on the way there, then they are active, even though I get concealed. That's still something with the memetic skin where I actually just haven't played enough with it to know the, the, the quirks of it. Right, and, and XCOM, an enemy within, at the start of your move, you gained concealment. But I'm not convinced it works exactly that way here. Yeah. Certainly going to put in a good word for I'm you. Not sure how long I can out. maintain this. Right, and then right, seven enemies remaining. Should be concerned. Active. One. Oh, that was the faceless. Five shots. Seven enemies remaining. Okay, so we're going to reload a single. Just slice. Bonjour. Fire spreading. I have the same problem I had at the start, so I'm like, how am I activating? Also, can I... oh, I was like, can I invert the power nodes? Invert is not straight out. Yeah, I can invert my teammates. <clears throat> um, yes, there's always the option to just shoot the guys, yeah. Approaching target now. We have eyes on the target. Alright, that option just lost some of its uh, appeal. Stuck into that corner cover. Not a problem. Guess we're all watching them. Yeah, can you hold that for me for a second? Well, seven remaining is actually six remaining. It 
because it still counts the active ones. So that's the four guys over there, two guys here. That's that's the map. I think I don't care too much about the pistol overwatch. I'd rather have another power node killed here. Uh, also, shouldn't there shouldn't there be an evac timer here? Didn't we throw an evac through the fa Okay, XCOM. Now you're being very very naughty again. I asked you not to do that. Oh, you're gonna eat my shotgun overwatch at long range here. Look at this, this grouping. Firing incendiary. Ah, Newton is not having a good day. Well, no, maybe he has. Alright. Uh, you burn. You're not burning? Or did you not burn from this? Alright, what's the weird snake? It's one of those, hey, that snake appears once every three campaigns. Frost Legion Cobra. Take a bonus action whenever anything dies. Immune to electrical mental attacks. When this creature is wounded in close range, if it's damaging, be a bit of frost on the attacker. Close range? Not definitely specified. Flashbang resist. Additional defense and dodge based on distance. Once per turn, take a reaction shot. But seems like a giant Peter. Especially the whole reaction shot thing. And the bonus action when anything dies, of course. But you're not immune to fire or anything like that, right? You just, you just set you on fire and forget about you for a turn. Yeah, I forgot about that guy. <laughs> I, I, at least we have that out of the way, right? Frost Legion Bomber got a little bit angry. But I think he's over it now. They won't last long. Just to make sure you're not angry for long. How about a little, little fire for you too? Toasty. Just gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the with the sergeant there. Shock trooper, whatever his name is.
which might just be a void conduit. It's the safest way to take care of him. Yeah, I think you gotta... Oh, I also really, really need to put a new evac. Need an evac! This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Don't make me look up the console commands to paste the evac. Like, if it bugs out once, yeah, game's a little bit buggy, deal with that. If it bugs out twice, screw your XCOM. <laughs> I'm opening the console. We'll see. Oh, we can attack from the back here. Which... Gives me line of sight on the shock trooper. Okay, alright. So I can then just command her. And maybe, maybe here, so we're not standing next to the fire. Is that also good enough? God, sorry, I have to triple check everything here. Right, yeah, yeah. That guy, this spot, do it. Actually, on second thought, I don't want to be next to this guy. Let's just get over there, and you get a command in seconds. On the move. Hostile target down. You can bury this here with Untouchable. Target eliminated. Just wanted to make sure that you're actually the target of the whole thing. Alright, that leaves us with... It's not a great shot. If we're gonna Void Conduit him anyway, then I don't actually need to worry about it too much. Let's just get some damage in on the cold run. That reinforcements come in. I won't go down without a fight. Yeah, don't, don't look at me like that. You can't CCS me, you're on fire. Alright, so action number one. Step protocol. And a Friendly command here. Nothing's moving down there. I'm out. Weapons hot. All right, and then I guess for good measure, let's see if we can kill this guy, or do we just reconceal? I don't know where the reinforcements are dropping. Technically, they could be dropping right next to me here, and then conceal is kind of worthless. So let's just take the shot. Even if it's not a good shot, it's a good shot if it hits. That's not too concerning. Is 
even an advanced priest, not an elite priest. What the hell? No, oh, there's, there's now the evac timer actually working. Okay. Alright. All I had to do is uh, sound angry and threaten with the console. Let's see, we're reasonable people here. Gotta be, gotta be kidding me. You had a way to reach that. Not setting yourself on fire. Oh, I guess the grenade caused this fire? Who did this? Um, yes, I guess we can... Take the Andromeda on with setting myself, setting myself on fire. No? Yes. Up with all the fire here, anyway. Who's, who's doing that? It's not gonna cut it. That is not gonna cut it. Why don't we just give you two more action points then? They're on to me. Target locked in. Yeah, I just really don't want any injuries here. Ah, uh, what's up? What's up, Mr. Lance? You come here often just to just to hang out? Alright, um, Shock Trooper still needs some little treatment here. Oh, Fates Bagger. Not sure how long I can maintain this. Oh, convenient. I think that's. Come on! Son I of won't a... go down without a fight! Stepping off! Get over there. You chill, you pick up the loot, you burn. I have no idea what this thing is. Running, you just die tired. I can maintain this. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Uh, sorry, so what, what, what is the remaining hostile again? No need to ask twice. Seems like a very weird term I'm not familiar with. Got it. You know, like like leftover pizza or something. Confirmed coordinates. I'm not sure how long I can maintain this. We're green to go. Let's do this. Oh, we need to enter now.
Yes, we have to fight one more wave. Uh, probably don't wanna. Do I have fine control? Fine control. Yeah, okay, I'm just overwatch that. We're fine. Single and over. And overwatch. Yeah, that doesn't look scary. Alright. You're fine. Stop complaining. All right. Um, On your order. X-ray neutralized. Affirmative. All right. Can we evict now? Are we done the ends? This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Yeah, it was time to go five, four turns ago, but you, you cancelled my initial order. Ready to boogie. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Alright, retaliation successfully. What is happening behind this door here? Hello? What are you two doing? Thought I couldn't see you. Yeah, retaliation successfully averted. Apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive work. Then there is finally the ghost bullet upgrade. Fires an additional bit pistol shot. Which then should, you know, with lethargy stun for two actions, so actually being a useful stun. And on top of that, we're gonna get heavy hitter. So not only are we firing twice, but we're doing plus two damage on each of these shots and on the rent. So that's a that's a huge, huge increase in damage suddenly. Got some intel from the Skulljack. We got the um, a data pad we can crack for intel, and I think we got intel as hack reward. So, despite boosting the last two missions, I'm still sitting at 177 intel. Yes, that is a level 2 bond that is way overdue, so let's do this. So yeah, um, between last episode and this one, I was at the black market, which you might know from, from the money counter. Uh, what else? I want to quickly check something. For you, Commander. Oh, not build facilities. Build items. Oh, yeah, okay. I had there was just an upgrade to um, a mod that kind of broke my my fix for the hero armors. Oh, Brazil went to strength six anyway. It's like yeah, you didn't. I didn't get the UFO. Reinforcements, but I just got a supply raid. Screw you and your attempts to keep Brazil under control. So that was a strength six. Retaliation prevention. A well, good thing that worked out. Um, I did decide to infiltrate this thing here. 
with a squad that maybe should be a little bit stronger. Maybe we boost this. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. We'll just let it run it run its course. We have the troop column ambush, so we're gonna reduce strength down to five again. And then we'll have to see. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting XP greedy here towards the end game. Uh, the good news, maybe not for the soldiers, is that um, if if I miscalculate, you know, and we lose a squad of staff sergeants, it's not going to kill the campaign. Um, what else are we doing here? Oh yeah, we finished the armors and I queued up sector pod rack, but I should really actually... Yeah, get one of these going. Let's break the shadow chamber again. That we just built. We do have a mission waiting here with a really, really good swipe. Right? Good old classical 7 to 9. Strength one region. The only reason I haven't done it is because we don't really have that many people left here. Astro could could get on that mission, and that should almost get him the promotion. If you go solo, there maybe. Um, Maybe when you come back from the covert action, you get the promotion from that, free XP. 40 hours. Yeah, that should still be like a seven day timer and we can set up a little squad there, do a little little extra mission. Try to get some XP here and, and bond level ups and all that stuff. All right. Like when there's not even a pop-up of what I just unlocked. It's just, yep, yeah, okay, you've done this. What do I want to do here? Yeah, we don't have Exalted Pathfinders, so we're not, not able to get into that. Uh, let's get some of those weapon crates. I want the mass-crafted advent shotgun and the better acid launcher. We have 11 engineers and scientists now. It's free. What does this give? Breaker, auto sniper, and fossil assault rifle. I think those are kind of all I don't want to say bad, because then I'm going to have to read big paragraphs from some people of why those weapons are totally not bad, but there's a niche scenario where they're just as good as a plasma weapon. I sh really should train fuse on an electrician, right? You should know how to deal with that. New objective added. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations. Yeah, I'm from broken now. People are standing by for your orders in the field. The Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. New objective added. Oh, hi. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. We've established contact with the local resistance forces in this region, Commander. We're ready to move on the coordinates we pulled from the Codex. 
Yep, there's definitely... Definitely a couple enemies over there. Alright, we're gonna at least wait for the UFO and the troop column to finish before we infiltrate that, but that's gonna be our next objective. We are victorious and the cause is advanced. Alright, what else do we have? Let's just dodge. I guess that 50 intel for the uh, one of the Shadow Chamber projects was kind of steep, so let's get some more intel out of this. Congratulations um, on reaching Master Sergeant. You're doing covert actions now. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Did you guys get actually enough? Cohesion from that covert action for the level 3 bond. I think so. I think it might be enough. Alright. Chris. What are we getting into here? Mass reanimate. Reanimate all nearby dead organics, turning them into zombies. Or we can just, you know have a thing where we need to have an enemy that's frozen, then we can detonate that. Which is dealing, air quotes, severe damage in the air quotes area around them. This is all damage and only takes by 50%. Alright, okay. But what if I just kill the enemies and then I'm not taking any damage? Right, we're gonna take mass reanimate. Like the hit chances of the other abilities uh, with the based on size stats and all of that, it's just so bad that there's no reliable way to freeze somebody. And then I'm not in the mood for testing out what severe damage and what area is here. Like, give me, give me a number of the radius. Give me, you know, damage. Is it based on my psi amp? Uh, what is severe damage? <laughs> Not sure. Ah, okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> Getting carried away ranting about bad tooltips. And don't get me started on that. I can I can rant about bad tooltips for days. I think we wanna... Um, yeah, let's pick up Soulfire. I have some more psionic stuff that I can complain about here. Cool. Um... Stupid question. No, you can. No, you can. And use the side underlay, and you're actually using one. <clears throat> All right. The idea was to send you on this mission. Setting course for the Arctic territories. So well, that's first thing. I want to have Astro on this because he's getting so so close to level up. Put my Pyro and my Scion on this. I think uh, in terms of officers, we gotta go with the Commando here. Ah, thing. Probably want at least one kind of carry, as I like to call them. Uh, 
Um, who's currently... Uh, five days bond training is happening. If you get these two guys in, then the mission is six days. Okay. That seems all fine to me. Let's see that we can get some equipment here. Probably should at some point build a second superior emulator. And also maybe shell out for the good upgrades for that thing. Back to bioalloy plating. Having you immune to poison kind of really helps getting in there. Um, Talarats, please. Yes, okay. I don't think it matters too much what you're using. You're just here to smoke up the team and dish out a command every now and then. Run around with the old bolt pub. I don't care. So there should be one more talent round available somewhere. Wonderful. Finally. What are you gonna rock today? That looks uh, oddly unsettling. Freaking color. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. No, it's not fine. <laughs> it's not. I, I'm sorry. Hang on. We're gonna, we're gonna uncolor your name so that the system can find you. Don't come poor. All right, that fixes that. But for some reason, it changed your voice again. Just gonna save you again to the pool. Like you are gonna be Zap Brannigan. Okay, this might have just created a second uh, illogical in my pool instead of fixing the one that's already in there, but hey, there's worse things than having a second illogical, I think. Ah, right, what are we doing with you? 35 AP. Heavy hitter is nice. Yeah, heavy hitter is nice. Done. Got some empty slots here on the PCS front. Kind of don't want to use my superior PCS though on, on people that may or may not reach Master Sergeant. How did you survive the last trip to the black market?
Also, I guess we're not getting any hacking reward. Also, don't bring any hacker. That's fine. You know, just just go. Sky Ranger, menace ready to deploy. All right, and uh, back to Brazil. Setting course for the Brazilian corridor. And that should just conclude. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, all right. Hmm. Um, I think I'm okay with losing five hours on this. Do the the troop column ambush, and then we set up the supply rate in the next episode. Thanks for watching. All squad. And that's the end. Those are the enemies. I will do that next time. See you then.